This Montenegro travel vlog is the ultimate couture travel guide. To help plan your next trip to couture, we'll share plenty of couture travel tips, including what to do, where to stay, and what to eat. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travelers. And we're coming to you from Couture, Montenegro. Couture is a city that you'll instantly fall in love with. It's a breathtaking city nestled between the Bay of Couture and the mountains. Couture Old Town is a fortified Venetian era city filled with beautiful and historic stone buildings and narrow walkways, perfect to lose yourself in. The most popular way to visit Couture is by cruise ship. And no wonder, because it's conveniently positioned in between Greece and Italy and Croatia. We really recommend you come and stay overnight because it is a completely different experience once the cruise ships leave and you have a place to yourself. It is also common to visit Kotor by bus from Dubrovnik, Croatia, as we did. The process at the border was simple and we had no issues on either side. We've just gone through passport control at the Croatian end, so we're in no man's land at the moment, and it was all straightforward, you just got stamped, and now we're just waiting to go to the Montenegro side. So once again, on the Montenegro side, it was all very straightforward. We got off the bus, uh, we just lined up, he stamped our passports, and then we're just waiting for the bus again. So all straightforward, no payments to make, very smooth. We travel with Flixbus to Couture, and we'll pop a link in our description for you. You can also fly into Montenegro to the Tavat Airport. Kator is only a 30-minute drive away. Churches are some of the main attractions of the old town, including the Cathedral of St Trifon and the Church of St Nicholas. If you want to shop for souvenirs of your trip, then the Kator Bazaar is a must. A top free activity in Couture is to walk along the city walls for a great bird's eye view of the town and surrounding bay. Walking around Couture, you'll quickly notice a lot of cats. To celebrate this unique quirk of Couture, there's even a cat museum to visit. We visited Couture in May and believe it to be the perfect time to visit, with the weather heating up without being too uncomfortable. That said, the cruise season will have already commenced by then and during the day Couture town will be very busy. As you can see behind me, this place is packed. There are heaps of people around. It's very popular this time of year. And we've observed over the last couple of days that we've been staying here that there are around three big cruise ships a day that come through with a lot of people. So it does settle down a little bit at night time, which is quite nice and pleasant, uh, but during the day, it's crazy. For more Couture inspiration, we've also put together a Couture Old Town walking tour video. Make sure you check it out to get more of a feel of this wonderful city. If you're feeling more adventurous, then a hike to St Ivan Fort is the activity for you. Look at that view. So we've got the old town behind us and we're about to climb up the city walls to the Fort of St Ivan, also known as the Fort of St John. And this is going to be a very steep walk because the hills around here are really steep. You should get some really good views from the top. So I'm looking forward to getting our exercise on and seeing how we go with making it to the top. What we like about the walk so far is that you have the choice of either a gentle incline or steps. So that makes it pretty handy either way. Uh, let's just see how the trail progresses. It's around mid-May right now in Kator and we've come around the time of a big triathlon festival. So if you can see in the background, uh, the triathlon started. It's around 7am in the morning. You can see the swimmers just swimming around the lake. Okay, let's see how my knees hold up at the end of this. So far it's been about 40-45 minutes up and we've come to this really nice panoramic spot so you can overlook all of Couture. Uh, I think we're around halfway. Uh, it is allegedly 40 minutes. We've been taking photos, taking a bit of footage, so yeah, it hasn't been too hard really. We have ventured out first thing in the morning just so it's a little bit cooler because there's not much shade here and uh, I'm sure this would be quite taxing in the full glare of the day. 
Well, I'm feeling like the queen of the castle here overlooking the city below. And as we've been walking up, the sun's been slowly rising and you can see that the mountain has been slowly covered in light. Well, the first rays of light are just hitting us now. So we've made it just to the top of the fort in time for the sun. The little bridge is a little bit precarious. We've made it to the top. A few enthusiastic people have made it up here in the morning and I think this is the best time of day because it's nice and cool. You've got the beautiful view behind you and it's just marvellous. Okay, we found ourselves one of the few spots that has a great view and also has a little bit of shade. Now it is like 7.30 in the morning so there is not much shade up here and we're going to reward ourselves with some breakfast. It looks like we found a bonus level. So about five minutes from the top, from the fort, uh, you come down a little bit more and you go off to the side and you can see a portal towards a church. So we're going to do that now. There's a little ladder and it's a really interesting little valley area. It's like a little secret, I think. So let's, let's see what it looks like. To get some respite from the cruise crowds, make sure you head outside of the Couture town to experience the amazing Bay of Couture. You can walk or even ride a bike around the bay. The Bay of Couture is absolutely stunning, especially on a sunny day like today. And I really love the colour of the water here. It's a really nice deep teal colour. We'd highly recommend, if you have time, take a walk around the Bay of Couture. There's a lot of nice little villages on either side of Couture and it's just a really beautiful area to come and walk around. There's even some pontoons that you can swim at all along the waterfront. It's just a really beautiful area. So we found that the other side of the bay in Couture has a large range of little ports and jetties that you can just jump off. We've seen all the locals swimming around here, so we're going to do it too. Off you go. Off I go. The town of Parast is a 20 minute drive from Couture and is a beautiful bayside village to explore with plenty of restaurants to savour. If you don't have a car, you can take the local blue bus service to Parast like we did. The blue bus runs all along the Bay of Couture and is a cheap way to tour the broader area. You can also do a day trip to the premier beach destination of Budva, only 30 minutes drive from Couture. We put together another video for you about the best beaches of Budva for more Montenegro travel inspiration. There are plenty of restaurants and pubs to choose from in the old town, serving up mostly Montenegrin and Italian fare. Our tip is to wander outside of the old town as we found some amazing restaurants with priceless views. Just walk another 20 minutes along the coastline and there are a range of really nice restaurants at a bit more affordable prices as well. The views are great, there's a lot more peace and tranquility and you will have a really great meal. A couple of restaurants we've been to in Montenegro, you have to pay extra for the bread and they'll just bring you the bread and assume you want it. So you have to say you don't want it if you don't want to pay. But in this restaurant, it's free and it comes with a pate. So I'm going to give this a try. This is a really nice little addition. So I believe this is a fish pate and it's, yeah, it's really nice. I really love the bread around Montenegro. They do brown bread really well in particular and brown bread tends to be cheaper than the white bread which I found quite surprising as well. So yeah, a very delicious starter. For lunch at Bonanza, we have an octopus Bonanza which is an octopus stew and there's also gnocchi in here as well. Uh, and this is a red risotto with prawns and parmesan ice cream. How does it cut through? Very nice. Mm. Oh, no. 
octopus is really nice. It's only slightly chewy, you can cut through it really easily, it tastes really fresh. And try some of this sauce as well, this stew. The stew tastes quite meaty. I can't put my finger on it. And there's also, it tastes like there's also red wine or some sort of wine in here as well. It's really, really yummy. Mm. The gnocchi is a little bit different to what I expected. So, I'm not normally used to the balls, but this is one big long string of it. So, I'll give this a go. Yeah, it's quite creamy and there must be some sort of cheese in there as well. I like that, that's really nice. So this is the red risotto? Yes, so I've got a little bit of the parmesan ice cream on it. Oh, it's not really cold ice cream, it's a ball of parmesan. Parmesan and risotto just go so well together. So, this red risotto, it's a tomato based risotto. It's very delicious as well. The prawns look really plump, eh? Hey? Yeah, good sized prawns. The risotto was 10 euro and the octopus was 14 euro. So, this represents really good value. So, it's a great view on the water, great food. Bonats is really nice. Make sure you check it out in the tour. Another popular seafood dish that you must try in Couture is tuna steak. This is a very large, generous portion of tuna. And I really love tuna steaks. It doesn't taste like the canned tuna. It's, uh, it's It tastes more like, uh, like an actual steak or, or beef or chicken or something in between. It's just really delicious. And it comes with uh, a potato and spinach salad. So we've seen this quite frequently in Croatian type dishes as well as Montenegro dishes so this is really nice as well and I think it comes in garlic too. If you prefer meat then make sure you try the Naguski steak, another popular local dish around Kator. It's sometimes thought of as the national dish and it is a beautiful steak which is served with some local cheese as well and we've got some salad and some fries as well on the side. This looks beautiful. Mm. 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 The steak is really thinly sliced and then it's stuffed with a prosciutto or ham and it's got cheese on top and the cheese is just melting all over the steak. This is a really delicious dish and a must have in Montenegro. There are plenty of accommodation options to suit all budgets in Kator. We stayed at an Airbnb studio in the old town. It was comfortable and very inexpensive at 30 euro a night. If you're looking for something a bit more exclusive, we recommend looking at Blue Kator Bay Premium Adults Only Spa. We found a premium spa resort just on Kator Bay and this is called Blue. So this restaurant looks really, really good. And they've also got a beach area with lots of deck chairs and umbrellas. It's a really relaxing space. I believe it's an adults only spa as well. So that's pretty cool. And we've got a delicious looking brownie, which comes with peach sorbet and caramel sauce and the way it's presented is really beautiful and I loved how they poured the caramel over and just had it all melt away um, so yeah this looks really good this was five euro which is pretty good value all things considered and it's yeah it's a beautiful space here the restaurant overlooking the water so let's give this a try mm. Mm. That is so decadent. It's got some crunchiness. Ooh. And yeah, there's some, yeah, the chocolate's really nice and got a crunchy layer there. Ooh, I think I've got to have a really good bite with the ice cream as well. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Definitely, when you're in Couture, come around the bay to Blue, have an ice cream here have a drink, look over the water and enjoy. We hope you enjoyed our Couture travel vlog. If you did, please give it a like and let us know what you thought in the comments. If you'd like more travel vlogs like this and would like to follow us on our bucket list journey around the world, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button.
We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.